All right, guys, this is a video I've been wanting to do for a while, and this is going to help a lot of people that's getting into the lights like me. I know lights are getting very popular, and there's so many different lights you can get now, and the prices have dropped so low. Uh, I really like through night really well, and there's no middleman with through night. They sell directly um, from their own warehouse, and they don't middleman them out to stores. So if you buy a through night light, uh, you're there's no middle guy to go through. You're buying directly from them, and they, they are able to give you a break on price. Now, I do have some other lights. Um, I have a couple four sevens and some things like that. I just, I tend to like, <laughs> I tend to like several different light lighting systems, uh, just depending on what I do that day. Um, as for today, if you want to know, my EDC was the Quark 123, and this was my backup light. And you can, let me just show you, let me get a close up here. And I'm basically going to show you um, some of the wear here. Around the bezel. See that where it's worn down to stainless? I like it when my stuff gets like that. Um, it just, you know, shows that you've put a lot of use into it and that it's getting its use. The wear on the pocket clip there. Um, this has just one main bright light. Uh, I believe it's like 250, 208 lumens. Then if you click it again, you're in the strobe. And then if you have it on your main light, um, you turn the bezel. I have it set to turn the bezel, and it goes to that moonlight mode to be able to read things in darkness or to see things in darkness without reflecting back in your eye. Uh, this is an oldie for me. I've had this for some years, and it <laughs> never fails to work. Um, you know, if you have the batteries in it and things like that. This was my main light. This is the Through Night, um, the Through Night TN12 2014 edition. I'll show you that right there. TN12 2014 edition, an amazing light with a mega amount of lumens and a strobe, just blinding and all kinds of veritable levels you can go through with this. I love it with the lanyard. Uh, this was my main carry today. So, just wanted to go over that real quick. Now, we're going to talk about some of the batteries and the charger I use. Um, this force, like uh, lights like this, will take an 18650. And if you don't know what an 18650 is, I'm going to show you right now. This is an 18650. It's also here in these cases. Uh, this is a Panasonic. I'm going to I'm going to go over the brands that you should buy in my opinion. I've done a lot of research and I've got a lot of use on these lights. So I feel that I have that qualifies me to uh, give you my opinion and that it counts for something because you see the wear and tear on these lights and knowing that I carry them often and charge these batteries, you know I get use out of this. Now, this 47s um well this will take the 18650 or two CR123s. Now this 47s, the Quark 123, takes CR123s but will not accept an 18650 because the body's not wide enough. So for this light, I got these. Um, these are by Nightcore, 650 mAh uh, batteries. And these are doing extremely well, lasting me way longer in between charges than I ever dreamed that they would. These are doing me extremely well. And this charger here will accommodate all batteries. Um, first of all, let me tell you what this charger is. I'm kind of jumping around and I'm getting ahead of myself here. This is the Nightcore IntelliCharger i4. It's the only, well, it's the first good one that I bought. First one I bought, everybody does it. You get a real cheapy and it just, you know... Uh, this has different protection modes on it because these batteries can be hazardous and cause fires and different things. But this has protective modes on it to, to shut off when the battery reaches full capacity and different things to help safeguard. I always still recommend that you, uh, you be around when you're charging these batteries. And when they're done, very quickly you get these uncharged. Don't go on a weekend vacation and leave batteries in here. That's my advice to you. Now, I'm not saying that this would ever cause a fire over the weekend being alone um, and batteries charged but just for the safety reasons I just recommend that once these are charged that within some amount of hours after that you unplug it just to be on the safe side um, but this is the Nightcore 
IntelliCharger i4, and I do have the adapter for uh, to plug this into this into one of the ports in the car for the cigarette lighter. So I can charge batteries in my car. I'm going to plug it in, and I'm going to show you what this does, what it looks like, and um, has a blue light up here. And these are the you'll see these light up for your meters for your batteries. Now it's been quite a while since I charged these. I was just seeing how long that they were going to last me till they started to ramp down in power. And amazingly, it's been uh, honest. It's honestly been weeks. And um, you know, using the light every so often. So um, I'm going to put one in here in this port, and we'll see where it's at. I'm going to put one over here. You want to put them like this if you're only going to charge two. One here and one here, and one here and one here. So if you're only going to charge two batteries, either put them in these two ports or these two ports, or these two, either of these two, okay? Now if you're going to charge all four, then that's fine, just fill it up. But the nice thing about this um, battery charger is that it will accommodate any batteries, like you see these smaller ones, and now I'm going to drop an 18650 in there. It does have reverse polarity protection, so that if you um, if you put a battery in backwards, you will not explode the battery or ruin the charger. Now, all the way down to the teeny tiny AAA, this charger can handle it. Now, I've had this charger for probably a year, and I never did a video. I just used it and charged my batteries. Um, I'm kind of surprised. Ouch. I'm kind of surprised. <laughs> Something was biting me. Sorry. Um, I'm kind of surprised that, uh, that these are even have one light, these two batteries here. I have been testing these batteries. Uh, I've never owned the CR123s. Uh, rechargeables but um, I've been testing these and they're doing extremely well okay so the 18650 is a little bit fatter that's why it won't fit if I take this 18650 you'll see that it will not go into the body of the 47s these these are called RCR 123 RCR 123A if you want to buy these in rechargeable form They'll go in there. And they'll fit perfectly. Now, this has a slightly wider body, so you can put in either the 18650 or you can put in the body tube that came with the light. And you could also use your uh, CR123s in here. to power this light as well. So you have an option on the lights that will take an 18650. You have an option of using two different sources for your battery. Okay? So that one's okay, there we go. But yeah, this thing will charge any uh, there's a lot more sizes of battery you can look this up that this will charge than what I'm putting in here right now. I'm just giving you an example. Uh, this will do double A's as well. And there's quite a few more that I'm not even uh, naming right now. Let's see here. Here, okay, here. I was hoping it was on here. Here is all that this will charge. All the different batteries. The 18650, 17670, 18490, 17500, 17335, um, 16340, RCR123, 14500, 10440, uh, AA, AAA, and C, and like I said, you can plug this into your car, into the cigarette lighter, so if you're camping or whatever, you can always have uh, batteries on hand. So guys, this is basically it. Um, the best batteries to get in my opinion, for 18650s are the Orbtronics. Now, keep in mind that you're going to get more power out of the bigger battery that you go. This is a 3400 mAh. These batteries are simply outstanding and amazing. Uh, 
the next brand I recommend is the Panasonics. They're in green. Um, first, let me tell you, these are going to run you about $19 a piece. you got to buy them in sets of two, and they come in these cases, and they last 500 charges. So trust me, to pay, you know, $19 a piece and get two of these, in the long run, you're going to save a ton of money, 500 charges. Same with these 500 charges. These are a little bit cheaper. These are about uh, $10, 11 maybe even $9 a piece. And you can buy these Panasonics. Um, these here weren't very expensive. A two-pack. A two-pack of these, I believe, was 16 or 17 and that's going to last hundreds of charges as well. So if you have lights and you're into the flashlight stuff, it's going to be well worth your money to invest in a charger and start getting batteries instead of buying the batteries. Um, I've been running rechargeable batteries for pro at least two years now, probably more, and I have had nothing but good luck with the batteries and my lights. So I hope this gives you some ideas. Um, if you want to go with AA and AAAs, always go with the Sanyo Eneloops on eBay. Um, go with the, I got, for AA's I got some of the, I think they're called the Double X. They're a higher capacity battery. Always go with these. The Sanyo Eneloops for AA and AAA. You can use these on any household items as well. But these are just amazing for AA's and AAA's. And definitely for the RCR 123A's, I would go with these Night Core 650 MAH. Um, here early in my testing stages, I'm giving these batteries a 10 plus out of 10. 10 plus, okay? For my first initial staging um, chargings of that. So basically what happens is when this battery's done charging, this will light up solid. All three blocks will no longer blink and this will shut down power um, that's going to the battery and charging. Otherwise this would heat up. So this does have a safety you know, measure to guard that against that. And it kind of tells you what level the battery's at too. So if I put a battery in there that was full, all three of these would probably be blinking. Uh, real low, the first one would be blinking. So right now I'm about midway point through these batteries. And it's amazing because how much I've used these and not charged them. But there it is, guys. Um, if you have any questions, let me know. I'm hoping I covered everything. Uh, I just wanted to get, you know, get all the information out there and not make it 30 minutes long. <laughs> but this just gives you some ideas. And... Um, when I was getting into these batteries and stuff, I did a lot of research and didn't know what to get. Take my word for it. When you're going with 18650s, Orbtronic and Panasonic, um, anything AA and AAA, get Sanyo and Loops on eBay. And when it comes to the CRC um, or the RCR 123As, go with these Nightcore. Because uh, as far as my research so far, which hasn't been real long, these are amazing. Okay, But all these other batteries I've had long-term research with, and I can give you my thumbs up personally. All right, guys, until next time, this is H4T. I hope this helps you out and um, gets you settled up and set with your all your batteries and your lights. All right, guys, I'll talk to you next time.